<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to On the Couch. Joining us now is Jay or Jose or Jay. The man JD. With many names. He goes by many <laughs> names, yeah, many, many names. But for today, we'll call you Jay. Perfect. Right? And he, he owns a entertainment company. It's called JDR Collection. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what that is, how it got started? Sure. Um, it started basically uh, when I was in my teens. I, I used to be a big collector of, of many things. Um, due to unfortunate events, I've, I've lost a lot of my possessions. Uh, I, I went overseas a few times for military, and um, I, lost, uh, I lost a lot of my possessions. So, but when I was younger, I used to collect a lot. My mother always say, you're, you're going to become a, I think it's called a hoarder. <laughs> yes. I thank God I'm not, but um, I used to collect a lot, and basically over the years I just said JDR, Jose Dominguez Rodriguez collects, JDR collection, for some people it may be a little bit in the corny side, but um, it works. It, yeah, it's unique I guess, I don't think too many people can really refer yeah. themselves to the collection of their possessions, mm -hmm. yeah. photography, whatever it may be. Now, when you say you lost some stuff, was it stuff that you have been collecting or just your everyday possessions? Uh, a lot of collections of uh, like things I, I, I like to collect. For example, um, when I was my first full feature film, I, I, I directed, a, uh, I made a, a film called the, the Traveling Child because I've been to about 17 different schools in my whole life. Oh, wow. And I wow. took an 8 millimeter dinky camera that I bought off a of flea market. I made my first featured film at 12 years old, and um, Hurricane Andrew. At um, 12 years old, you said? Yes. And um, I went through a hurricane, and me and my mother lost everything in Florida. So I decided to, like, like the, I lost a lot of uh, black and white photography from, you know, your 35 millimeter film. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it was devastating for a child, you know, you, you, you I was very possessive yeah. of my stuff and very, like, private, like yeah. I used to. So I, I, I lost my first time experiencing a loss, and then yeah. uh, I, got, I went overseas to Iraq when I first joined the military after 9-11. And um, unfortunately, the person that was in charge of my things <coughs> kind of like let my stuff go. <laughs> and people started taking stuff like I had a collection of guitars, like Fenders and Gibson Les Pauls. And, and uh, I lost about seven guitars and a few amps. and. So it's like another devastating, <laughs> uh, you know, stamp in my life, you know. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'm a collector. I used to be at least. So you, um, you said you play music and you do photography and film. Is one of them your favorite passion or just all you uh, I can't really say favorite. I, I, I say that I, I just, I get bored easy. <laughs> so I like to keep my options open. I, I, if I get, ever get tired of photography, I go to film. If I ever get tired of film, which is happening very <laughs> soon. I'll go to music. I was telling my wife that um, I need a guitar. We were at a guitar store like a week ago, and we were just I was playing with the guitars, and I was like, I wish I had like a thousand dollars to get this Gibson <laughs> or something. But <laughs> but it's like you gotta be so disciplined. Like mm -hmm. you can't just go out with spending money. But That's true, yeah. so yeah, I, I don't have a passion. To answer your question. It's just that I, I like many things. And my collection <laughs> of uh -huh. things to like, I guess. Yeah. yeah, so so this word collection really kind of means something different to you, I bet, than yeah. uh, most other people that, that maybe have never experienced losing stuff before. Yeah, it's, it's uh, like I said, people don't really take it as like, oh, yeah, the JDR collection, it's uh, a corny name, but it yeah. means something, but nobody's yeah. ever asked. Yeah. I'd be, I have to say, you guys are the first to ever <laughs> ask me, so. Um, Interesting. So and this is actually kind of petrifying for me. I, it's the first time I do this. Oh, oh really? No. Yeah. You're, so you're never on camera, then I assume. I hate the camera. I like you to be behind the okay, camera. Okay, so you like the behind the scenes. Yeah. Don't like the front. There's a lot of people like that. Yeah. We actually have a web series called Behind the Entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to talk about that? Yeah. Um, it, it's actually started not too long ago. Like, um, I, I started it a few months ago. I am always really big about interviewing people who are not famous. The reason why I say that is because I've met uh, a large amount of famous celebrities in my time. My favorite is probably Johnny Depp. I what? worked with him like <laughs> for six months straight. I worked with him next side by side. And I even were co was confused with him. Like uh, people confuse me with him because I'm JD. 
and he's oh, okay. JD. Oh. And they call him <laughs> JD on set. So when we're next to each other like this, <laughs> um, they were like, JD, and bro, both look back. And they're like, <laughs> what J who, who are you talking to? Like, who, what JD right. are you talking about? The rich JD or the poor JD? <laughs> <laughs> so they're always talking about Johnny Depp. But um, <laughs> so like I, I always like the aspect of those shows that are out there that interview celebrities, like the actor studio, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I always say, what, what happened to the ones that are like in the bottom? Yeah, like, they're, they're starting out. Right. So I've, I'm really big about interviewing independent entertainers, meaning that I, if you are if you are any type of entertainer, artist, a singer, music, songwriter, filmmaker, actor, I that's what BT is. It's is behind the entertainment of any anything that is not Hollywood or mm -hmm. right. Uh, it's not there yet. Yeah. It's just. I Which just is probably the most interesting a lot of the times. It is. There, it, you'd be surprised uh, the the type of stories that uh, that come out of these 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 individuals. For example, I asked them what motivates you mm -hmm. to do what you do because uh, have you ever heard of the term starving artists? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what motivates you? Like for example, I could interview you guys now if you want. Like, <laughs> what motivates you to what do this? Us? You know, it's because you have a passion, and yeah. and, mm -hmm. and the reason why I do it is because it's, um, for example, people who watch BTA, and they s and they can relate to say an actor. Um, they're like maybe they're down that day and they don't want to act anymore yeah. because they've just been denied so many times. But then they see, for example, you. We say, yeah, my motivation is what keeps me going every day, is this, yeah. this, and that. And they're like, you know what? I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be down. I should keep going and do what I love to do, which is acting. Yeah. So, so can we find this online, or there, can people say on your website? Uh, there is a YouTube, okay. which is where all so far I have six episodes so far. Okay. okay. Um, it's basically YouTube.com uh -huh. forward slash uh, JDR TV film. Okay, and we can find all episodes of all Behind the episodes there. Yeah. All right, awesome. Well, thank you, Jay, so much thank for you. coming on, and good luck with your company and the web series and everything in the future. No problem. All right, we'll be right back to hear Mark Nesman perform on the couch. <laughs>